session we learnt about structure of heart, the blood vessel related to heart and about pacemaker. The pacemaker has to function properly for the heart to beat rhythmically. If it does not function properly, it will be life threatening. It can be resolved using artificial pacemaker. We will see what is an artificial pacemaker. An artificial pacemaker is a medical device that generates electrical impulses to cause the heart muscles to contract and therefore pump blood. The artificial pacemaker has two parts. The first part is the pulse generator. The second part is the mechanism which transmits electric signals from the first part to the heart. Medical science has made possible to implant the artificial pacemaker beneath the skin through surgery. Wilson Great Batch, an American electrical engineer, invented this equipment. Artificial pacemaker surgeries have been conducted since 1960s. The next topic what we have to discuss is about working of heart. Already we learned that there are four chambers for the heart. Right atrium, left atrium, right ventricle and left ventricle. We also learned the blood vessel related to heart. They are vena cava, pulmonary vein, pulmonary artery and aorta. Vena cava brings the impure blood rich in carbon dioxide from different parts of the body and opens into a right atrium. The pulmonary vein carries the pure blood from the lungs and opens into the left atrium. This takes place simultaneously at the same time. So, right atrium gets filled with impure blood and left atrium gets filled with pure blood simultaneously. When both the chambers get fully filled, they contracts. The atria contracts. And the valve what is seen in between right atrium and right ventricle and left atrium and left ventricle opens. And the blood from right atrium enters into a right ventricle and from left atrium into the left ventricle. When the whole blood enters into the ventricles, the tricuspid valve as well as bicuspid valve closes. Then the ventricles contract. The blood from the right ventricle enters into the pulmonary artery and the blood from the left ventricle enters into the aorta. At the same time, atrium relaxes and gets filled with blood. And at the tip of the pulmonary artery, there is a valve known as pulmonary valve. And at the tip of the aorta, there is a valve known as aortic valve. This prevents the backward flow of blood into the heart. And the pulmonary artery carries the blood to the lungs for purification and aorta carries the blood to the organs and from there again the vena cava carries the blood into the right atrium and from lungs the pulmonary vein carries the blood to the left atrium. This cycle takes place continuously and this is how the heart works. The next topic what we have to learn is about different types of circulation. When the blood flows from the heart 
to different parts of the body and vice versa. The same blood has to pass through the heart twice, once through the right side and once through the left side. So that type of circulation is known as double circulation. And repeat once again, when the blood flows from the heart to different parts of the body and vice versa, the same blood has to pass through the heart twice, that is once through the right side of the heart and once through the left side of the heart. Such a type of circulation is known as double circulation. Double circulation includes pulmonary circulation and systemic circulation. Pulmonary circulation and systemic circulation. We will see what is meant by pulmonary circulation. Pulmonary artery carries the blood to the lungs for purification. After purification, the pulmonary vein carries the pure blood to the heart and pours out the blood into the left atrium. So, the circulation which begins from right ventricle and ends with left atrium is known as pulmonary circulation. The pulmonary artery carries the impure blood to the lungs for purification. And after purification, the pulmonary vein carries the pure blood to the left atrium of the heart. So the circulation which begins from right ventricle and ends with left atrium is known as Pulmonary circulation. The second type of circulation is known as systemic circulation. Here, iota carries the pure blood to different organs of our body. From there, the impure blood is carried by vena cava to the right atrium. Carried to the right atrium. So, the circulation begins from left ventricle and ends with right atrium. That circulation is known as systemic circulation. I hope it is clear for you. The next type of blood circulation what we have to discuss is about portal circulation. We all know that veins carry the blood from different organs to the heart. But some veins do not carry the blood to the heart. But they carry the blood from organ to organ. They carry the blood from organ to organ. Such type of veins are known as portal veins. Such type of veins are known as portal veins. They begin from one organ as capillary and ends in another organ as capillaries. Example for such an portal circulation is hepatic portal system. Hepatic portal system. In hepatic portal system, Hepatic portal vein connects two organs, intestine and liver. It begins as capillaries in the intestine and ends in the liver as capillaries. I hope you understood what is meant by portal circulation. Have you ever thought why these simple nutrients are carried to the liver. Liver is a center of metabolism. 
simple nutrients undergo numerous changes in the liver. Glucose will be converted into glycogen and stored in muscle cells. Energy is released from fatty acid. Produces cholesterol. Converts toxic substances into non-toxic substances. All these are functions of liver. That is why liver is known as center of metabolism. After the numerous changes, the simple nutrients from the liver, it is carried through hepatic vein and hepatic vein opens into vena cava and through vena cava, the simple nutrient reaches the heart. I hope you understood the role of heart in carrying the simple nutrients to all the parts of our body.